Hi, I'm Phil Berman from Balanced Catamarans. I'm here in the lovely Victorian Alfred waterfront in Cape Town. I attend a lot of boat and marine trade shows globally, and I follow with great interest the, all the efforts in our industry to reduce carbon emissions, including new materials, processes to build hulls, decks, sustainable woods, fabrics, flooring products, solar panels, wind generators, hydro generators, electric motors, and hybrid electric diesel propulsion systems. I'm also quite interested in the efforts underway to produce hydrogen-powered yachts. The world's waking up to the seriousness of climate change. It's taken us an awfully long time, I'm afraid. And it's laudable that many in our industry are looking for greener solutions to power generation propulsion and also more environmentally conscious methods of fabricating our boats. At Balance, we are sincerely trying to be part of this effort, this vital effort to the extent possible. Unfortunately, when I attend a lot of boat shows, I see that there's a great deal of what is called greenwashing in many industries today. And the boating industry is like really is no exception. I was recently in France last week at the Le Grand Mott catamaran show and there was one manufacturer of a catamaran arguing that they offered emissions free boating. And uh, I'm afraid that that's just a simply a very terribly higher hyperbolic thing to say, because there's really no such thing as emissions free boating. Whenever we're engaging in discussions on green initiatives, I try to remind myself that it really has to first begin with a focus on conservation, which simply means striving to consume less of just about everything and recycling whatever we can. When Henry David Thoreau retreated to Walden Pond back in Boston in 1832, he's a philosopher I've always really enjoyed reading. The clipper ships of his time that took off from Nantucket and around the Capes to whale, they didn't have air conditioners, they didn't have freezers, fridges, washing machines, dishwashers, or charcoals, and they didn't have motors. So when they arrived at the doldrums on a ship, they just drifted off and, until the wind gods granted them kind of a reprieve. Although few of us are prepared to live like the hermit life that Thoreau chose, we sailboaters really should take a measure of solace knowing that our sailboats are far greener than powerboats and that the more a sailboat's actually sailing, the greener she is. The importance of sailing over motoring as much as possible is not valued nearly enough by consumers who aspire to live more greenly. And I think that going forward, we're going to see a lot more people turning to sailboats and, and wind-driven propulsion as we attempt to live in a greener world. The fact is that a performance-oriented sailing catamaran that sails smartly in light airs and well to windward carries much lower carbon emissions than even heavier or fatter sailboats or catamarans that must motor more often. The performance cat can sail better upwind, so it's gained about 14% of uh, the sailing circle. It's moving more quickly in light air. And that in the end is a greener thing. It's like I'm happy with the fact that it's not uncommon for a balanced catamaran to sail from Cape Town to Grenada on just two 400 liter tanks of fuel. That's not a fossil free passage, but it's certainly not a grossly carbon consumptive one either. Once we agree that sailing more often is greener than motoring, what else can we do to design and craft greener catamarans? At Balance, we're focused on four things primarily. Designing and building lasting catamarans is certainly one of them because the more durable a product, the more lasting it is, the greener it is. Reducing our carbon emissions during the manufacturing process, installing the most durable and energy efficient equipment available, and sourcing and fabricating with sustainable or recycled products whenever possible. The boat that I'm on right now, you, you I, get, I don't know if you can see this video or not, but it is a... Um, sustainably store, sourced bamboo product. The fabrics and a lot of the materials that we're using in the couches can be sustainably sourced uh, recyclable products if people want. But let me just start by stating that, you know, kind of what I think should be obvious that's easily forgotten. And that's that the longer the lifespan of a boat or nearly any product, the greener it is. According to a study by the UK firm Ricardo Associates, 50% of a boat's carbon impact occurs during the manufacturing process itself. 40% takes place during the operation and 10% is the disposal at the end of its life. A car, on the other hand, 85% of its carbon impact results during operation, 10% during the manufacturing process and 5% at the end of its life. So the big difference is the life cycle of the products. A typical car is sold after a relatively short period of time with thousands of miles on it while a sailboat, a balanced catamaran, or really any sailboat typically have lifespans of exceeding 45 years or more, 
And the annual time that that boat is spending burning fossil fuels, certainly on a sailboat, is cons compared to a car, is really quite low. <clears throat> when I was a yacht broker, I sold plenty of catamarans over the years that were built in the 1980s, and they're still going strong. The first uh, Pearson Albert 35 monohull that I owned back in California was built in fiberglass in 1964, and I suspect she's still around sailing today. So that's a really green fact that these sailboats, a well-built boat, will last a really long time. The long and the short is that throwing things away is environmentally horrible, which means we must strive at balance to design and fabricate quality products that last. My brother, a retired artist and furniture maker uh, from San Francisco, he often lamented to me like how sad he found it that much of the furniture built today ends up in landfills in a short period of time. Their long-term lifespan not only makes them environmentally better, but economically wiser over time. A commitment to building quality, durable products is the greenest thing we can do. And it's for this reason that, you know, I'd like to believe that long after I'm gone, there'll be balanced catamarans exploring the planet far and wide. And it's why we take particular pride actually also in the cabinetry that we really build on our boats. Uh, that they're all handmade cabinets that are fabricated of, of quality and fabricated to last. So for us at Balance, we're not only focused on building for quality and getting better and better at everything that we do, which is a constant effort, but we're trying to install and use components we deem to be the most durable in terms of quality. It's why, for example, we install these glass windows on our boats, why we opt to use glass solar panels with 25-year warranties rather than soft panels that have five-year warranties and which perform less efficiently. We're always thinking about the longevity and durability of the boats that we sell. And it's always a balancing act actually sometimes between strength and weight when you're building a performance cap. If you build something flimsy, it may be lighter and a little bit faster, but its durability then can drop. So there's this constant effort. An often overlooked and really positive fact is that many products produced today are a lot greener than those in the past. In the marine industry, we've made enormous advances in the efficiency and durability of our propulsion systems. In the past two decades, according to the Recreational Council of Marine Associations, in North America at least, we've decreased marine engine emissions by more than 90%, and we've increased fuel efficiency by more than 40%. Certainly those Yanmar engines that we install in our balanced catamarans today are infinitely greener than those we installed just a decade ago. The technology is just driving everyone to build more carbon efficient propulsion systems. The second thing we focus on at Balance is reducing carbon emissions during the actual manufacturing process. As I noted earlier, some 50% of a boat's carbon impact occurs during the actual manufacturing process. So this is the area where we really must focus the most to craft greener products. Using more solar to power our factory operations, reducing wastage, using water catchment on our roofs, relying on as many recycled and sustainable products as we can, and exploring alternative materials to fabricate the hulls themselves so long as they're safe, tested, and proven. At Balance, we're, we're not focusing on this nearly as strongly as we ought to. And it's, it's an effort for us to pivot and think more strongly about how can we build uh, more efficiently and greener. But you know, given these facts, just piling a bunch of solar panels on our boats and putting on um, you know, uh, larger lithium batteries and that, it's not nearly as impactful to the health of the planet as reducing carbon during our manufacturing process. The third thing we focus on is installing products that reduce fossil fuel consumption and increase, energy, and increase our energy efficiency. Because obviously the less fuel we burn, the more efficiently we burn it, the more energy efficient the equipment we install, the greener our catamarans become. And I say this with a caveat though, that we often overlook how terribly consumptive it is to fabricate lithium batteries and at some point to dispose of them. Their advantages, however, for cruising sailors make them hard to reject despite their carbon costs. I was in the uh, Atacama Desert in Chile prior to the pandemic on a vacation with my wife and it's like a huge lithium center, but you think about it, the lithium gets dug up there, it gets shipped over to China, it gets made in a battery and shipped back. That's not <laughs> the greatest carbon, um, carbon footprint. But as efficient as lithium batteries are compared to other batteries, however, diesel continues to remain a far denser energy carrier uh, and is hard to live without on any liveaboard yacht seeking to achieve like off the dock autonomy without becoming without us becoming hermits. I mean, unless you can plug in um, and recharge your catamaran each night like an electric car, 
it remains something of a fantasy, in my opinion, to go all electric on a Voyage and Catamaran today because you simply can't carry enough solar. Um, you can't carry enough batteries without a really significant weight penalty to motor very far, far or fast on a pure electric system. Even on a really, really beamy catamaran with a big footprint for solar installations, carrying diesel of some sort on a, on a voyaging sailboat is simply inescapable at present. Again, unless you're quite happy to drift when there's no wind or sun and prepared to shut down nearly all of your consumptive electronics when your batteries fall too critically. Um, also, like from a safety perspective, uh, I believe that the ability to motor far and fast in any direction you want from an approaching storm system must also not be discounted. One of the great things about sailing today is that we have weather routing. We can see what's going on with the weather systems. And if we're carefully watching it, we can place our boats away from uh, approaching storms. And if we can motor really far and fast, it's easier to do that. Our conviction on this subject is why we are an early adopter and innovator with integral solutions at balance to remove a diesel generator from our catamarans to rely on fast and efficient 48-volt uh, charging with the two Yamar diesels that we use on our catamarans. We had some early conniptions, as all innovations tend to have, but by working closely with integrals as partners in innovation, we help to perfect an amazing product that not only reduces carbon emissions, but simplifies the care, the maintenance, and the operation of the balanced catamarans. I'm really pleased to see now that many other manufacturers are starting to follow us in using this great product that we worked so hard to perfect with them. Fourth and finally at Balance, we strive to source and use sustainable and recyclable products, as I mentioned earlier. And, and in working with Integral, we offer, in addition to working with Integral, we offer a range of environmentally sourced veneers, recyclable fabrics, and we also work hard to reduce electrical consumption through our careful uh, use of wiring, using the most efficient solar panels we can. And we're constantly investigating like new products that we feel may one day um, replace fiberglass and resins that we currently rely upon in using our hulls. In conclusion, the dream of carbon-free voyaging is simply not there yet, in our opinion. Um, when it's required to motor very far, very fast, pure electric propulsion carries too many negatives for us to seriously consider adopting at balanced catamarans at this time. In our view, the best options today are either dual diesel engines with highly efficient alternator generators, such as the integrals that we're using on the boat that I'm on right now, or hybrid systems that marry a diesel engine to an electric motor to offer both forms of propulsion when the conditions um, or personal desire merit the use of one over the other. Uh, in the following video, I, I'll discuss the pros and cons of marine hybrid propulsion systems for voyaging catamarans that are available today, and I'll share with you the hybrid solution that we've elected to adopt at Balance. So until I see you again, stay in balance.